it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but uh, life uh, finds a way. That iconic Jurassic Park quote you just heard might be one of the most profoundly true statements in our search for aliens. That is, if our recent scientific discovery is anything to go by. You see, we as a species have been searching for evidence of extraterrestrial life for the better part of a century. In fact, it was reportedly Nikola Tesla who first brought forward the idea of searching for extraterrestrial intelligence within our solar system in 1896 stating that an extreme version of his wireless electrical transmission system could be used to contact beings on Mars. And while we have yet to receive any definitive signals from aliens till now, or detect any signs of complex or microbial life in the Milky Way galaxy and beyond, what we just discovered might forever change our understanding of the origins and evolution of life itself. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 visited the diamond-shaped asteroid Ryugu as part of an asteroid sample return mission operated by the Japanese space agency, JAXA. The mission was officially launched on the 3rd of December 2014, reaching the asteroid by the end of June 2018. Once there, the spacecraft surveyed the asteroid for around one and a half years before returning to Earth with the sample capsule on the 5th of December 2020. It has now been three years since the spacecraft brought the asteroid samples back to Earth and we are still gaining insights about Ryugu and the environment in which it formed. Just over two weeks ago, scientists released the latest findings from Ryugu, which revealed that certain organic compounds called PAH may be able to form in the extreme coldness of space. PAH, or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are ring-shaped complex organic compounds that contain a large proportion of all the carbon in the universe. They are known to be abundant in the universe, including on Earth, where they are naturally found in coal and oil deposits, as well as through the incomplete burning of organic matter such as fossil fuels, wood and garbage. More importantly, scientists believe that PAH played a crucial role in the origin of life by mediating the synthesis of RNA molecules, leading into the development of the RNA world, a hypothetical stage in the early evolutionary history of life on Earth. Now you might be wondering, if these organic compounds are present everywhere, why is this discovery meaningful? That's just the thing, they aren't abundant everywhere in space. You see, based on our current scientific theories, PAHs are naturally found in nebulas, protoplanetary disks surrounding newly formed stars, the interstellar medium, and meteorites, all of which are known to be intensely hot entities. This makes the new finding quite surprising as it indicates that PAHs can form even in the frigid coldness of deep space. And since these molecules are some of the core building blocks of life due to their high carbon content, this provides further evidence for the possibility of life forming even in such brutally chilly conditions. The research was conducted by scientists from the Western Australian Organic and Isotope Geochemistry Centre. The scientists produced PAHs by burning plants and then comparing those molecules with the Ryugu sample fragments, as well as samples from the Murchison meteorite that crashed in southern Australia in 1969. They analysed the molecular bonds between light and heavy carbon isotopes in the samples to determine the temperature at which these PAHs had formed. The research results revealed that select PAHs from Ryugu and Murchison were found to have very different characteristics. The smaller ones likely formed in cold outer space, while larger ones probably formed in warmer environments, such as near a star or inside a celestial body. While the initial analysis of samples from the carbonaceous asteroid revealed that it contains grains that formed close to the sun at temperatures above 1000 degrees Celsius, this new study challenges what we thought we had discovered so far about this distant, organic-rich asteroid, which orbits the sun between the Earth and Mars. From what we know, Ryugu is composed of rocks that are as old as our solar system, at around 4.6 billion years. Its surface, in contrast, is quite young at roughly just 7 to 11 million years old. Due to its strange geological history, scientists theorize Ryugu could possibly be an extinct comet. 
Whatever the case may be, this new discovery takes us one step further in understanding the origins of life and possibly a major step forward in our search for extraterrestrial life. NASA's experiments with the tiny microorganisms called water bears aboard the International Space Station have already shown that life can find a way to adapt and thrive even in the vacuum and freezing coldness of outer space. Beyond this, in June 2023, James Webb detected for the first time never before seen in space carbon molecule CH3+, which is believed to be a cornerstone of interstellar organic chemistry because it aids in the formation of more complex carbon-based molecules. What all this means is that the building blocks of life are present in a much more diverse range of cosmic environments than we previously thought possible. As such, it is quite likely that our first direct observation of alien life may be on a frozen celestial body, rather than on the surfaces of humanly explorable planets like Mars, or distant exoplanets that resemble Earth in composition and atmosphere. And that life may look quite different than any Earth-like species that we know of. Thank you for watching my friends. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments about this discovery and what it means for our understanding of the origins of life and our search for extraterrestrial life. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for the latest breakthroughs and events in the field of astronomy. That's it for now, fellow space enthusiasts. I will see you in the next video.